Right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruchakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessing, Shalom, unto the elect. And I uh, want to go into a lesson pretty much um, dealing with seeking the everlasting. That's what I want to entitle this. And, and throughout the scriptures, you hear different references concerning the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding which has given us life through the spirit, man. And, and where do we find it in this word, man? All right. Sometimes it's referred to as light. Sometimes it's referred to as uh, uh, bread. Uh, sometimes re uh, referred to uh, uh, honey or, or, or water, man. All right. So we want to seek this, this, this spiritual food or the spiritual water. All right. This living water that's going to uh, uh, give us life. But we're seeking life eternal, man. Uh, we know that. We're in the, basically we're in the preparation stages of the kingdom, man, by seeing the men of the Lord out on the highways and byways, man, announcing the downfall of this place, uh, uh, showing that we have the, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man, that the Most High, through His Son, is waking His elect back up, man, all right? Real quick, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and 20. It says, therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom, all right? So we got to, the desire of wisdom, it, it gives us that comfort, man. That's why the men of the Lord who are sincere about this thing have a sense of uh, uh, comfort or solace in this place because we have the knowledge and we desire wisdom, man, which keeps us grounded in these times because we have understanding, man. So we we'll continue uh, uh, or to continue to pray for the Heavenly Father to increase that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding because in the times we're facing soon, that's going to be our uh, stability, man. All right, to keep us grounded mentally and spiritually. All right, but uh, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven and verse seven. This is a uh, uh, it says, Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called upon Yahweh, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. So, how did the spirit of wisdom come on to uh, King Solomon, man? Because uh, if you go back in the, uh, the account, I'm not gonna get it right now. Uh, he had a, he in in a dream he prayed unto the heavenly Father in a dream, all right. But he he prayed for, to be able to give proper judgment, man, or discernment, man, to judge his people, all right. And in return, the Most High gave him that, and he gave him all the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding uh, uh, that that he can uh, handle, man, all right, or take. And then all the physical things came with it. But what did he desire first? He desired the wisdom, uh, the wisdom to be able to judge, man. All right? And that's the mind frame we're in as well. We're uh, uh, being prepped to be judges of the earth, man. All right? And in order to do that, you have to have full knowledge of good and evil. You have to have the full understanding of the scriptures. All right? And that's what we're seeking right now because, we you know, in the kingdom, we're not going to have to study. We're going to have all the knowledge, man. All right, but just real quick to show how that, because uh, uh, in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7, it said, uh, at the end it said, the spirit of wisdom came to me. So how does it come unto you, man? This is Ephesians chapter 5 and 14, where it says, Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. All right, so I said earlier, man, and so in a lot of scriptures you hear about the Most High speaking about the light. What is the light? The, the understanding of these scriptures, man. And like it just said, it comes from from my uh, big brother Yahweh Shai, man. All right, commissioned by the Heavenly Father, man. All right, so it's back in Wisdom of Solomon chapter seven and verse ten. It says, "I loved her, her being wisdom, above health and beauty, and chose." To have her instead of light, for the light that cometh from her go never goeth out, man. All right. So that's is something to hold dear unto, man. Not focusing on treasures on the earth, man. Not focus on anything but getting this everlasting light, man. That never goeth out, man. If you're a part of the elect, then that you, this knowledge can't be taken from you, man. And that's why we constantly uh, pray for mercy unto the Heavenly Father, because the, more, the uh, only person that can take this knowledge from us is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So we're not to appease the world, and uh, and on top of that, seek this knowledge for the right reasons, man. We seek in this knowledge, man, this everlasting uh, 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 knowledge, so we can receive everlasting life. 
But if you're trying to get this knowledge to be a, a, a top guy in Israel or be known and want to get your name out there and all this debate nonsense and whatever it may be, man, like the scriptures speak about uh, uh, preaching the word for envy and strife, man. All right. We supposed to be designing this word for the right reasons, man. All right. For spiritual growth. So you can be able to teach this word properly uh, to the ones that are set to receive it, man. All right. So I want to uh, jump over to the book of uh, St. John. Now this is uh, just going to get the uh, kind of the tail end part of this account. Dealing with uh, Yahweh Shah when he went to the woman uh, uh, of Samaria, man, the woman at the well, which you got guys out here teaching. That uh that she was a uh, Israelite when she was not an Israelite man, all right, and this uh, and many many videos up to show otherwise through the scriptures man, but I'm just gonna get the specific point in the uh, in this account man, all right, and just just real quick thinking about them guys that that um teaching that this that uh that the woman at the well was an Israelite man they don't have proper understanding why because they wouldn't desiring uh. Uh, wisdom for the proper reasons, man. These guys want to be known. They want to be known as somebody who came up with a great breakdown against what the apostles teach and whatever vain things, man. So at the end of this thing, men uh, uh, that's in that spirit of just getting the knowledge so they can become some famous guy in Israel on this side, man, you're not going to receive ever, uh, uh, everlasting. Well, you're going to receive everlasting life eventually, all right? But you're going to be destroyed on this side, man, because you were seeking this uh, the Lord's word in vain man all right but this is a uh, saint john chapter 4 and verse 10 it says yahweh shall answered and said unto her if thou knowest the gift of yahweh and who it is that saith to thee give me to drink thou wouldest have asked of him and he would have given thee living water all right so i'm gonna read on but we're gonna uh get a, a couple of scriptures to show what that living water is man all right and it said, reading on, it says, the woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Yahweh shall answer, and said unto her, Whoever so drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh the, of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life, man. All right? So he was told the Yahweh Shah was basically letting her know, basically close your goddamn mouth. You vain, carnal heathen, man. I don't need no, uh, 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 no, no, uh, well, how is it worded? When she, uh, opened her damn, uh, mouth and said, oh, she's, uh, she has nothing to draw. He didn't need anything to draw out of the well because the water that, uh, that the, uh, Yahweh Shire is providing, you can't get out of no well, man. It's not something that's tangible, uh, that you can, uh, uh, grab hold on to, man. All right. It's talking about the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, which is going to lead to what he said at the end of verse 14, everlasting life, man. And that's what we're seeking, man. The thing, the, the, the spiritual things that's going to that's gonna, uh, guide us unto salvation, man. All right. Real quick, this is uh, John chapter 6 and 40. It says, and, and this is the, is the will of him that sent me. Then this is red letter. This is Yahweh Shah speaking once again, man. So he's telling you the will of his father, man. Yahweh uh, uh, that sent him. All right. It says that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. All right. So that's the process, man. All right. Believing on Yahweh Shai, man. At that point in time, when he walked the earth, man, there were people who was actually seeing him. But now our faith is even that much stronger because we don't see Yahweh Shai, man. But we understand that this is not just words in a book. We understand that this book is life, man. All right. Matter of fact, let me jump over to uh, verse sixty-three. Just real quick, it says, "Uh, uh John six and sixty-three." 
it is the spirit that quicken it, and we know quicken it uh, means to make alive. It says the flesh profited nothing, but the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. So we know that the, uh, the Lord, as you read in uh, Hebrews 10, uh, 10 and 7 and Psalm 40 and 7, uh, it comes in the volume of the book, man. All right. So we we read, read these uh, words, man. And uh, Yahweh Shai is gifted us with the understanding and put the Rukhakwadash, the Holy Spirit, upon us. So we can see that, you know what, this is not just an average book right here, man. This book is life, man. These words are spirit, man. And we feel it come into us, man. The first time we heard the name, the first time we uh, uh, heard that the, we was an Israelite, man, going in and hearing about uh, um, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, man, we heard, we felt that life come into us, man, because we were in a spiritually a dead state, man. So that 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 became like a man to to a righteous uh man that become like an addiction man like man I gotta get more of this man how can I get some more of this feeling in me man because this this is the first time I felt alive man all right that's the spirit of the heavenly Father resting upon you man all right and you want to continue to seek that man because the rest of these people they seek in a vain existence man. We're seeking everlasting life, man. We're seeking a kingdom that was promised to us, and we believe in nothing more. But we know we can't receive that kingdom but through Yahweh Shai, man. That was the whole point of him sacrificing himself for us, man. All right, going up on that uh, on the on the cross and 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 bearing the sins, of, uh, bearing all our sins, man. All right, and uh, just going uh, right along with that. This is John seven and thirty eight. It says, "He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said." As the scripture has said, man, that's the thing, man. All right, and it just don't stop there, man, because I've been read the scripture, man, a hundred times over, man, and I'm just thinking about it now, man. Believe on Yahweh Shai as the scripture has said, man. So you got to understand what he was all about, man. You got to understand the the type of man he was, which he was an austere, austere man, uh, humble man. When he walked on uh, on the earth, man, he came lowly on on the ass, man. All right, and to do what? To do nothing but fulfill the will of his father, man. So we're supposed to be in that same mind frame, man. All right, following that pattern, man, because he showed us the proper example on how we will receive everlasting life, man. All right, but um, back in the scripture, this is uh, John 7 and 38. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. All right. So we want to receive that living water, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to read the next verse. It says, But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because that Yahweh Shai was not yet glorified. All right? So we're supposed to be uh, seeking and, 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 uh, and um, to remain, man, as King David said, man, for... Uh, when he uh, prayed unto the Heavenly Father, man. Well, matter of fact, let me grab it real quick. Come on, this is uh, Psalm chapter 51 and 11. It says, cast, not, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. All right? So, matter of fact, let me read verse 10 first. This is Psalm uh, 51 and 10. It says, create in me a, a clean heart. O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take me not take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. So we're supposed to be in that mind frame because when you go through the different psalms uh, 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 that um, that King David has sung, man, unto the heavenly Father, man, he was always an humble man, man. He understood that all the power came from the heavenly Father, man. He didn't glorify himself. As he was this great warrior doing all these things on his own, man. He knew that the, the Most High was the reason he was winning all these battles, man. All right? He knew that everything he got was from the Heavenly Father, but not, uh, uh oh, just focus on the, he, he was, he had understanding, man. The scriptures tell you he was a man after the mo Most High's own heart, man. All right? So he understood that the way he believed on the Heavenly Father and his promises to come, he knew that this wasn't the kingdom that was promised unto us, man. Why? Because he still had enemies, man. Not only enemies of the other nations, but he had enemies amongst Israel, man. All right? 
So he was constantly praying uh, uh, for mercy uh, uh, unto the Heavenly Father and basically for him to deliver him from his enemies, man. All right? So you think that he was a carnal man? No, man. He was a highly spiritual man after the Most High's mind, man. He understood the Most High and what the Most High was about, man. So he wanted to constantly pray on the Heavenly Father and not take this understanding from me, man. All right? All right? To where I fall to being a vain or a carnal man. Okay? I'm going to grab this last preset, man. But that's what, what this thing is all about, man. Praying to the Heavenly Father, man. Doing what we have to do to grow in the Spirit, man. So so we don't, uh, the most I don't, uh, uh, will take the, uh, the Holy Spirit from us, man. Because that's the only thing keeping us grounded, man. And, and, and having us in, in the proper mind state in this time, man. Having us hungry for this uh, this spiritual food, man. For that living water. For that light to keep us out of darkness. Alright? But this is um, Galatians chapter 6 and 8. It says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. So this thing is all about receiving the spirit, uh, uh, the spiritual things uh, to 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 that makes your spirit grow, man. All right, which comes from the heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay, and what is it gonna lead unto? Everlasting life, man. So the, the the spiritual things that we seek from the scriptures, we're doing that to attain everlasting life, man. All right, and we're doing it for the proper reasons, not to be seen of men. Not to be the top guy in Israel. We're just doing this to receive this knowledge so we can go out and teach and do what's pleasing unto the Heavenly Father, man. Alright? So I'm going to end it on that, man. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ruchach, Radash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.